I discovered vintage bicycles and vintage cars um, through my father. My father um, made uh, components for um, classic vehicles. Every time I get on a bicycle, I always think, what history could this bicycle tell me? At the old bicycle company, um, I uh, buy and sell vintage and classic bicycles, anything from penny farthings right up to classic 1950s, 60s, 70s road bikes. It's not your standard bicycle shop that's in a high street in a town. It's in the middle of the Essex countryside. Um, people can come here, um, they don't feel harassed if they want to try a bicycle out. Um, one of my vintage bikes, they can ride it up and down the road um, uh, and feel at ease and at comfort. And they can also have a cup of tea while they're here as well. I suppose people like coming here because um, it is old fashioned. If you get something like a, a hand built frame, you know, someone would have bought that frame in 1950. They would have gone to their shop that they always wanted to buy a frame from. Uh, the guy in the, the workshop out the back would have hand built that frame to that person. And then they would have chosen the components to put on that bike. And then they would have taken um, receivership of a, of a proper hand-built, handmade bicycle. I want to be that man in that brown overcoat. I want to hand someone a, a quality product in a brown paper bag, you know, and roll it up properly and hand it to the customer so as they go away happy. You can't even sort of imagine what um, the history that some bikes have, have had. Um, and for instance, I've got a, a Tour de France bike, which I which I bought out of a camping field in Gloucestershire. And it turns out that it's um, a bike ridden by a guy called Victor Fontan in 1928. And he wore the yellow jersey. I love doing it. It takes me all over the world and I meet some fantastic people. One very unusual phone call I had one morning was um, uh, from Buckingham Palace press office. Uh, Can you bring a penny farthing along to Buckingham Palace? Um, I said, yeah, I'd love to. So on our hop, and of course, front of Buckingham Palace is all made up of gravel. And it is the worst stuff to ride a solid tired 1870 bicycle on. But I managed to do it and I rode along the front of Buckingham Palace, all around, um, along by the railings with all the tourists all looking in, thinking that I remember looking in when I was a kid through those railings, thinking that's where the Queen lives. And now I'm on the other side riding a penny farthing in front of um, the Queen's Guards. I like being here as the proprietor. Um, it's great fun. Um, uh, and I think people, when they walk in the door and they see what's here and they go, wow, um, uh, because I'm in here every day, I don't see it, but it's part of my, my life. Um, it, it's, it's what I do. I'm Tim Gunn. I'm the proprietor of the Old Bicycle Showroom.